We're going to demo Sidecar, our service discovery mechanism, working with Centurion, our deployment tool for Docker. And what I've got here is a window with Sidecar's little UI running on the right. Each Sidecar instance actually has a little web server in it. Uh, it's a Go application, and Go has really nice native support for HTTP servers. So I've got a little cluster here we can see. Um, there's uh, Docker 1, Docker 2, these are VMs that are running Linux on my Mac um, via VMware. Then I've got my Mac itself actually on the right. It's not a Docker box and it's not going to announce any services. Um, but in this case it can still participate in the cluster, it can still run HAProxy, it can still use the discovery mechanism. So what I'm going to do is actually run a deployment over here and we've got a really fancy web app that we're going to deploy. Um, it's Nginx with some static HTML. And um, basically, uh, it's just going to serve up a page which we're going to consider to be the simplest web application we might deploy. And um, Centurion and, and Sidecar are going to health check it using the slash URL because that's what we've got. And in this case, uh, our application is called Velocity, and we're going to do a rolling deploy. And you might have noticed that I had this no, no pull flag here. Um, that's because we're on the conference network, and I'm not going to pull down the latest versions of these containers. This is useful for development. In production, you probably wouldn't do this. Uh, but we don't want to stress out the conference network here or wait on it. So don't pay too much attention to what's going on over here in the Centurion window right now. We're going to actually pay attention to what Sidecar sees. So, um, actually, before I run that deployment, let's take a look here. We can see, actually, that each of these hosts has Sidecar running. So there's what Docker 1 sees, and there's what Docker 2 sees, and uh, there's our local machine, just so you can see that they're all running the same thing. And as this deployment happens, uh, Sidecar is actually going to gossip the new events that it sees from the Docker daemon on each host to its neighbors so that they understand what's going on as well. And that's how the state gets shared. So again, uh, pay attention to the window on the right. I'm going to run the deployment on the left, and then we'll go back and look at it. So here we go. So the deployment's kicked off. We don't see anything yet. Sidecar now sees the first container come up. See, it's unhealthy. It's waiting for it to health check successfully. It's seen it as alive. There comes the second container, and it actually health checked really quickly, so it's up. So now we've got both containers up. So the first thing we want to do um, is we can go and see the actual HA proxy. So this is the HA proxy running on our lo local box, and 3212 is the stats port here that we have open. And what we can see is that there's a velocity front end that's on port 10234 here. And then it's bound to this back end, and we've got two hosts in here. Um, and these are actually our containers. And the way Sidecar handles this is that it actually names the container or the hosts with the container IDs. So you can see that the container IDs here are actually the ones that we can see match here, which is pretty nice. Um, so we can actually see that we're looking at the right thing. So that's great. Let's go see what we can see. Let's see the first one. Let's talk to the host directly. Here's Docker 2 on port 10234. There's our app. Uh, and then we can talk to it on Docker 1. There it's up. But that's not good enough, right? Because we want to be able to use this to talk to whichever endpoints are alive. We don't want to have to care which ones they are. So we, what we want to do is talk to it through the HA proxy. So HA proxy is actually bound to a specific IP address that we have on each host. And in this case, um, they're called services. So we're going to talk to services port 10234 because that's the port that the velocity service runs on. And we're going to hit it. And, you know, we can run this a few times and it's going to just load balance to whichever of the instances is up. And then uh, to demonstrate that that's actually doing what we thought, we can go back to the stats page here and we can see that we've actually made connections through the uh, actual back end and you can see that they've been distributed reasonably evenly and everything's happy. So there's our service up and running. Um, how did it get there? Let's take a look in the Centurion window here real quick. Um, 
So we've done a deployment to the staging environment. We've done our zero downtime deployment, which is rolling deploy. We're not pulling. So the first thing we do is we go down and find the image itself, the ID, not just the tag, because we want to make sure that we've got the exact same image on both hosts, right? We don't want to end up in a situation where Docker's tag has moved on one of the hosts and we're running two different versions. So we go ahead and um, there's a lot of output here, but we're going to just kind of skip through a bunch of it. Um, we go and create a new container on a host, wait for it to come up. We're sitting here health checking. It's come up successfully. We move on to the next host. We go and do the same thing and uh, wait for it to come up. Everything's up and then we go and clean up after ourselves. So that's pretty cool. Um, we can see that matches our expectation here. Now this is an interesting thing we can see with Sidecar. I'm gonna go ahead and just run that deployment again. So it's gonna tear down the one that we just deployed and start up a new one. And uh, what you're gonna see here is that we actually keep state about the most recent containers that were around. So you can see a tombstone record showed up there. That's how we know that a container has actually disappeared. And that allows Sidecar to make sure that we don't have something stop announcing um, and, and then, you know, somebody else receives a stale message over gossip later uh, and thinks it's alive. This way we have a definitive marker at the point at which it died. And they sort on this screen from oldest to newest. So you can see that the tombstone records will stay up at the top. We've now got two new containers here that are alive. Um, and, uh, you know, we can go in here and see we have the new containers in HAProxy. Um, and uh, everything works pretty much the same as before. There's our two instances. Here's our services endpoint. We can go back and look at the stats and see everything's happy. So that's how our tools work together. Centurion on the left and uh, Sidecar here on the right. And um, yeah, we're planning to open source this later this summer. So uh, be looking for it.